Hello. Hi. We're back again with another episode here. Uh, we apparently got no background music for this game. Uh, this is Balloon Fight. It's a game of a little bit more substance following that drought of uh, kind of generic, you know, arcade conversions. We are now in the next cycle of releases. You're probably going to notice if you're unfamiliar with Balloon Fight right off the bat, you can tell this game is joust. It is pretty much literally joust. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's gonna get away from us. Now, if you've never played joust, it's literally balloon fight. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. We got one of our balloons popped by this bird boy here. So, immediately, it's self-explanatory. What's going on here? We're flapping our little arms to uh, pop the balloons of these uh, bird boys here, and then we gotta intercept them when they're down. Oh ho ho, or intercept them midair, it's even better. Look at that. And then catch their bubbles, you know, for even more pointage. Unfortunately, you yourself can get popped. Oh, that's such a great little sound effect. I love that sound effect. <laughs> Yeah, so the bubbles are not mandatory, but you do certainly get more points from it. Uh, this is game type A, and I am excited to announce that uh, game type B is actually an entirely different experience. Yes, Balloon Fight takes full advantage of having multiple game types and gives you something a little bit new. So I've been I've been pretty excited for this one. You know, it's uh, it's something a little more. Uh, digestible. Something a little more chewy. It's got some more grit, some more spice. I mean, already, look at this. We've had how many like, different layouts? I mean, I have to say probably three, because I think we've done like three stages at this point. <laughs> but, uh, so even if you compare this game immediately to its contemporary Joust, Joust has like one mildly changing stage, and this this is already going all over the place. Oh, you all know this song. This is a, a Super Smash Brothers classic track here. I mean, I, it, it, it's a Balloon Fight classic track above anything else, of course. It comes from Balloon Fight, but oh, come on, flap those arms, boy. Uh, this, okay, the turbo button isn't any good. I tried using the turbo button, didn't get me much. We did let a balloon go. Gonna let another one go. What do we get here, though? No doubt bonus points of some kind. 18. 300 times 18 is 5,400 points. It's great. Everybody loves a good high score chase. Next stage. And look at that. You can just eliminate them from the competition before they even had a chance. Destroy your competition while they're still in the womb. And there we go. That was probably not the greatest analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun game. I mean, Joust is fun. Balloon Fight, it's Joust with its own little flavor to it. Just gotta remember, oh, don't let yourself get popped so badly. As with pretty much every game in this series, I'm not making any promises about my own personal ability with it. I'm just, I'm just here to show it off a little bit, you know? and hopefully give a mildly competent foray into it. At this point, mildly competent is about uh, the best that I can hope to achieve. Uh, yeah, the turbo button doesn't, uh, doesn't work out so well in this game. Oh, actually, yes it does. I just had to hold down the other turbo button. Ooh. Unfortunately, that's, uh, yeah, that's the game over right there. I'll show off game type B uh, once, uh, no, not, sorry, game type C, Balloon Trip. I'll show that off when we get about halfway through this video, because that'll be, you know, it's its own. Oh, we don't even need the turbo button. We can actually just hold down B as as is, and we get a turbo effect. Well, that'll, that'll be easier than, you know, mashing A the entire time. Or, you know, A and X if you're looking at the controller tracker. I know some people, they prefer mapping A and B on an Xbox controller with the emulated NES stuff, but I don't know, that that never felt natural to me. A and X always felt a little more... A little more, uh... 
sensible in my hands. Of course, it is all just a matter of opinion and a matter of uh, what you feel works best for you, so... I'm not trying to say that I'm given any kind of, uh... Ooh. Come on. There we go. I'm not saying I'm not given any, like, uh... Final end say in the situation here. It's just a... It's, it's just a very well-made game. Like, the sound design is incredibly charming. The music, when you get it, is wonderful. And, you know, the graphics may not be anything special, but they pop the beautiful red balloon, you know. Oh, he got eaten by the fish! We don't get to, don't get any bonus points for that, of course, but, uh, you know. Oh, and here it is. I love this track. Who doesn't? I mean, if you don't love this track, then you don't love life. <laughs> really hard to get all of the balloons here, you know. The controls are floaty, but, you know, they're intentionally floaty. I mean, being as you're literally floating through the air. Not bad. I think that was literally as well as we did last time. Yep, 18 times 300. Probably get a perfect bonus if you get all of them, but, yeah, I'm not sweating it, you know? Just, uh, have yourself a nice, casual little bit of fun here. Erased instantly. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Excellent. Excellent stuff there. It flows so well. Like, there have been some other arcade games here. We've seen some of them in the past that function, but they don't really feel like, oh, they don't really feel like they have a lot of flow to them. This one, when you start chaining some, uh, I don't want to call them kills, but that feels a little uh, excessive. <laughs> when you start chaining some eliminations, it just feels wonderful, and you feel very in control. And you know, I can't think of anything more vital in a game than making the player feel like they're in control the entire time. <laughs> Like, you can really, uh, you can really influence the floatiness, you can harness it and, uh, get around it. It's never a thing that feels like you're just totally screwed because it's there. And there is an art form to that, especially in these early games. I can, heck, even nowadays there are games that get basic things like, like, uh, just a feeling of being in control so wrong. Like, you can't take that for granted. You're not guaranteed that, that the game that you're gonna play is gonna feel great. <laughs> You'd think that it would be a guarantee, because, you know, I, I can't think of anything more important in the game than being able to play it. Oh, uh, boom, got away from me. Those ones are gonna get away from me. Yeah, you just kinda gotta pick the ones that you're gonna go for, you know? Probably could have gotten that one towards towards the top, but again, I'm not sweating it. I'm just here to have a good time. And yes, you can walk on the ground if you really want. 8,000 points that time. Look at that. The bonuses just get more and more lucrative. And look at this. We're still getting unique layouts. That's what I was talking about when I was saying this game has a little more substance to it. This is not your Super Mario Brothers one trick layout thing going on here. Oh, shocked. Should have seen that coming, you know, I should have been far more mobile around that cloud, but that's that's me flying too close to the sun there, or flying too close to the cloud in this case. You know, ah, and there we go, that's another game over, but it's a new top score. So, my microphone stands trying to murder me as always. Take a little drink here, you know. You can see, two-player synchronous multiplayer. I naturally have nobody to, to try it out with here, but... Uh, it's just, it's just a really fun game. Like, I don't feel like I have anything bad to say about it, you know? It's 
after that stretch of the Donkey Kongs and Mario Brothers and Popeye, this is this is a godsend. This is the exact kind of game that you're looking for to clean your palate. And I know, I know, I, I may sound like I'm being a little overly negative about those games, and like I said, they were fine for what they are, it's, you know. There'll be a point where you're looking for a little bit more in your gaming career. Oh, dude, look at that. You can just, you can just dance on their heads forever, build up a score like that. Except, I would have to assume... Ooh, whoa, what was that sound? It was after I got a sick combo, so I can only imagine something good. But I can only imagine that if you uh, stall for too long, there's probably some kind of a fail state. I know in Joust, if you waste too much time, eventually this giant pterodactyl comes out, which you can kill, but it's real difficult. You gotta, like, hit his nose with your lance very specifically. And in case you're not familiar with Joust, you will be seeing that on this channel. Joust was ported to the NES, because of course it was. <laughs> hmm, not our, not our best bonus here. Missed three that time. I think there's, there's a little bit of RNG to uh, how those balloons spawn. Some, some games you might get just exceptional balloon spawning. Some games, you know? You're gonna be tried and tested a little bit. And I think that that's fine. You know, again, it makes for a more dynamic experience. You can't just memorize what's going on. Games that rely on you just memorizing them as their primary method of, like, difficulty, I'm not gonna say that they can't be fun, because they very much can be. There are some great classic games out there that you just kinda gotta memorize. But, a game that provides a more dynamic difficulty experience, like you just have to be on the tip of your toes here and uh, play well, those are always a little more rewarding, at least to me. Oh, not gonna lie, I felt a little, felt a little concerned about that one. S same thing with right there, you know? good stuff and yeah I could be going through and collecting the bubbles get more points that way but uh, you know we're not gonna set any high score records either way may as well just uh, take it easy and enjoy enjoy a nice little foray into a balloon fight believe it or not this game did actually get uh, I don't know if it was so much a sequel as it was a spiritual successor but it got uh, kind of a follow-up you know, game for the Game Boy called uh, Balloon Kid. And it's amazing. <laughs> so, Balloon Fight was not totally forgotten after this release. Just mostly forgotten, you know? It's doubtful that we'll ever see any, uh, you know, big AAA Balloon Fight games come out in, in near history. Or in any history, for that matter. See, this is a pretty good bonus balloon spawn, like, you're getting, you're feasting here. Oh, all of them, don't mind if I do. Let's see if we get a perfect bonus for snatching up all of them here. 10,000, yeah, f another 15,000! Good god, that is, whew, that is worth shooting for. Look at that, we still got two lives, we've beaten our top score by a wide margin, however, this layout is tricky. You got kind of that uh, entire wall preventing you from getting up to this portion. Once you break past it, you know, it's... Oh, no. It's not the end of the world, but uh, it's certainly treacherous. I'm not sure I want to hit the uh, flipper. Again, if you recognize that flipper, probably from Smash Brothers. I know it was in melee, if nothing else. Oh, oh, oh that was that was dangerous. Don't oh, yeah, don't get too close to the water. You're gonna get eaten by a fish. Okay, or <laughs> we'll just die up there. We broke 100k though, so that's that's sweet. But I mean it. This this is just a genuinely really fun game to play. You know, it's not it's it's not the wildest premise out there, 
But if if you just work, then you don't need the wildest premise. Look at Super Mario Brothers. What makes it unique? Not much of anything now. I mean, for the time, you know, it was like the blueprint for the uh, 2D platformer, but uh, other than that, besides just having, you know, kind of a whimsical world, most of its success was just based on execution. And that is A-OK, -okay, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want the fish to steal our points there. Perfectly good waste of points. Or a waste of perfectly good points, as uh, you may put it in a more grammatically proper term. Oh! Zapped again. Alright, gotta watch out for that. The sound effects are so good. The little ditties that play when anything happens. Here we go. Another bonus stage. I don't dare, um, you know, hope for another perfect. I feel like I'd be, uh, getting greedy at that point, saying, Please, sir, may I have some more points? It would be incredulous of me. And yet... Because this is... This is gonna give you even more. You know it's gonna give you even more. And we've done it. Oh, oh, oh what do we get here? 700 times 20, another 20,000 on top of that. Outstanding. 162k. That's... That's the business I'm in here. Lots of flippers. These bubbles, why not? You know, it's, it, 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 it's 500 points a pop there. And the fish has got him. That's alright, we made up for it in uh, bubble points. Ooh, got dangerously close to getting poached by him there. Oh, it's so easy to uh, bounce off the top and then get uh, annihilated by someone above you. You know, just, just part of the game. Risk management and all that. Uh, okay, we're fine. Oh, I thought for certain that was going to uh, eliminate me. All right, the lightning is getting out of control here. The lightning does, in fact, bounce off of everything, so that's... That'll get you a little worried. But we've survived another stage. See, we truly are improving every every single stage here. Oh, oh no! Smacked on the wrapping screen. That was a good run, though. Not quite 200k, but uh, still felt like a pretty good run. 1,000 points, 750, and see, you can get another 1,000 just by waiting for these bubbles here. And of course, you get more points for yeeting them out of midair. Granted, you don't, you don't get the bubbles. Oh, well, you do, but not when it's the last guy. Hold on here. I got my microphone stand is being real. Uh... There we go. Now it's kind of leaning up against my desk. It's not the most, it's not the most sturdy thing in the world. <laughs> As you probably noticed by this point. You may notice I'm kind of switching between the D-pad and the analog stick. Obviously, NES games are not analog. Uh, using an analog stick doesn't give you any more precise control over what you're doing or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it works pretty decently, though. Like in Mock Rider, it actually worked remarkably well. Not today, Lightning. That's that's a nightmare scenario right there. That's the kind of thing that you never want to see happen. You wake up in the middle of the night with cold sweats, remembering the time that you uh, botched it that badly. And oh, look at that, he got back up. Oh no, that just means he's more points for me. And I don't know what the best way to farm points in this game is. I mean, there's gotta be ways to get real creative with racking up high scores. And that's just a testament to the uh, game's design, you know? Any game that gives you a good portion of ways to uh, score big, 
was clearly designed with a lot of tender love and care. I'm gonna cover this song. Well, not actually, but blow that one. It's, it's such a good song. There we go. Get those early perfects. We're down a life, so it's not an ideal situation that we found ourselves in. But if we can carry ourselves to a survive long enough to get to that half hour mark and then try a balloon trip, I'll be a happy camper. You know, I like, I like to see some symmetry in my videos. I don't plan for it, but if it happens to uh, turn out that way, then hey, it's wonderful. Ooh. Ooh, 1,500 even when he's on the ground. Not bad. You love being, being able to knock out three of them before the starting gun is even shot off. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Let's go for you. We probably should have gone for him because he's going into the drink and... Uh, yeah. That's some points taken from me. Going for the bubble was the mathematically absurd decision there. A little nerve-wracking here. The fish ain't getting all my points. I'm getting at least one of those guys. I mean, it's the kind of game where I'm I'm so content with just sitting here and playing it that like I don't even find that I have to go on any like unrelated rants or tangents. I'm just I'm just having a genuinely great time with it, you know. I can see value in the uh, just hold right tactic of these bonus stages here. By the way, however, there's a point where you do have to make a tactical decision. That's two perfect bonus stages. We're getting better at those. Oh, that's so satisfying. Especially since it's a super bonus, as you can see from right there. It's not your regular bonus. Okay, this layout. We got up to the top quickly, which is which is a, a definite boon. <laughs> oh my god, dude just immediately gets his ass sit down on that platform. Ooh, okay. I feel like I really lucked out with that uh, with that cloud there. That could have been a worse situation than it was. Same right there. Oh gosh! But the lightning—it doesn't—it doesn't end there, you know. Pretty good for being a life down since level one. Oh, now we're a balloon down. I really like that you do get uh, two, uh, two balloons, though, you know, it's, it, it, it gives you just a little bit of leeway. Ah, shoot. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is not an arcade conversion. I am pretty positive that this is just an NES game built from the ground up for the NES, which uh, would explain why it's more forgiving than most arcade games, of course. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. I want, oh, I want him. Yeah, there we go, I got him. Call it greedy if you want. But hey, in Balloon Fight, you're in the business of amassing points and uh, dodging fish. It's good. However, we're down to that uh, no life kind of situation. <laughs> Aren't we always in a no life kind of situation? That's not true. I have a real job. I pay bills. I pay taxes. I do all the boring, dumb, depressing things that life entails. That's why I fill it up with things like Balloon Fight in the meantime to uh, keep things sweet. Oh yeah, we got him there. That was, that was a duel. That was a true duel. Alright, how are we going to do on this bonus stage? No, I'm just, I'm just focused. I'm just dialed in here. 
I probably could have turned the other direction. That would have made that safer. You know, you don't like seeing him get too close to the top, but it ain't over until it's over, and that was not over. Look at this. That's the third perfect bonus stage in a row. And the fact that we're on zero lives left has me concerned, but uh, we are nearing a juicy new high score. Ooh, that could have been really, really bad right there. Okay, fish stole the points. It's fine. We're alive. We made it. Didn't get really any, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> we didn't get any pre-kills there, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll do another round of Game Type A before we mosey over to Game Type C. Game Type A, it's just fun. It's all fun. He didn't stand a chance. Watch this, you know, we just we just mock him. <laughs> we absorb the souls of his bird friends. Are these supposed to be birds or are these people with bird masks? I guess uh you know I haven't seen the anime, so I don't know the whole back plot. Speaking of anime, I uh, just recently finished Isekai Quartet, which was absurd in all the best ways. It was worth watching all of the associated shows before it to really get all of the uh, gags and characterization. Ah! Oh, losing a balloon this early. Don't even. We're okay. We've lost a balloon, but we haven't lost a life. Although they can, they can feel like lives. Ah, see? They, losing a balloon is the quick path to losing a life. I love those just quick double pops. Oh yeah, that's 3,000 points right there. That's not quite a full 3,000, but you know, it's, it's, it's still a solid amount here. What is it about watching the number go up? Like, no matter what kind of game you're playing, watching the number go up is always just the most satisfying thing ever. If you're playing Call of Duty, you just love to see your overall like level go up. You prestige, you get to watch your level go up more. If you're playing an RPG, let's be real, most RPGs are just about watching numbers go up. Especially JRPGs. You level up, the numbers go up. You don't get, you don't even gotta think about it, they just go up on their own. Arcade games, again, all about numbers going up, you know. There's just something about it that just uh, triggers your endorphins. We're getting real good at those. I hesitate to, to use terms like real good or anything like that, you know. I don't want to put myself uh, too high up on a pedestal, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. not bad. Could have been, could have been a little smoother. I won't deny. But I'm not gonna mock myself for, you know, doing something half-decent, either. Okay, well... There is that. Again, you know, you just... Take out as many of them as you can. Make the rest of the game go easy. I cannot stress enough <laughs> how great this game feels after playing Popeye. <laughs> oh, and the, this is the kind of stuff that has me living for this series right now. Those moments where you play a game that isn't necessarily like trash, but it, it's just really not scratching that itch for you. <laughs> and then an episode or two later, you find a game that is just sublime. Except the band Sublime is a terrible, terrible band, and uh, don't don't think for a second that I'm uh, using it in that context here. <coughs> yeah, apologies there. Uh, yeah, the 
felt a little dangerous. That's still feeling a little dangerous. No! Yeah, we flapped our arms too high there. See, that's why I didn't want to use terms like we're getting real good, because I knew I'd, uh, I'd botch one of these after getting that cocky. And it's going to be real hard to set any new high scores when you don't get a perfect on this, because that's, I mean, from there you look at, what, it's just 500 points? Nah, dude, that's like several thousand points because of that perfect bonus. Okay. Things ain't as bad as they seem. Yeah, we're down to one balloon. Well, one balloon and one life, so, you know, again, it's not, it's not that awful. I, like, that's, I still don't know what that sound is. It sounds like an extra life sound, but there's no extra life here. There's not even an extra balloon, you know? If you get, uh, behind in this game, it's kind of hard to catch up. I don't know if they do offer extra lives or not, but, uh, if, if they do, they're scant. Ah, oh, Been a while since we've been completely told off by lightning. It's okay. We got to hear the, uh, Try Again song. The glorious little ditty. Just gotta dial in. Just gotta focus. Balloon Flight is a cool mode, too. I'm excited to uh, show that. Which will definitely be after this run, which will be, like, probably <laughs> very, very soon, being that we're down to one hit left in our pitiful little balloon career. That's good. We needed another perfect to, you know, redeem ourselves from that missed one. I mean, we'd be at way more points right now. Yeah, I'm still crying about it. What are you gonna do about it? I had a weird dream that I was in a uh, flying car. And I was driving it, and uh, I crash-landed on some arctic island. That's all. That's all I got for you. I, I don't have specifics. It just came to my mind and I thought, man, it was a bizarre dream. But it wasn't like a car that flies in any way like that you'd think. It felt like the flying car cheat from Grand Theft Auto where you, as you keep driving you just eventually lift off. <laughs> and then you're just kind of chaotically flailing through the air. That was how it felt. Oh, that's about the perfect start to this level. Now we just have to not die. You know, I'm playing this game and I'm even asking myself, how have I gotten hit so many times? You know, it, it's it's not the hardest game on the planet. But you know, it's mostly when you get greedy. When you're trying to reach for the stars and you've uh, fooled yourself into thinking that you can uh, get away with more than you can. <laughs> this is good, this is good. Look at that! Even with missing that perfect score, the perfect bonus on that little bonus stage, we have achieved a new top score. Now, don't soil it here. Come on. You wanna take it to me? Oh yeah, he wasn't ready. Nice landing, though. I'm impressed with that. Okay. No bonuses to get us... to get us in tip-top shape. Okay, we got it. It it challenges you, but it, but it allows you to be good. Skilled players benefit in balloon fight. Oh, 25,000. Yes. Glad we broke that 200k mark in one of these runs here.
We're still getting new layouts too, I think. <laughs> It's it it's a game that's it it genuinely makes you just really happy to be playing it and that's why I do it you know that's why I that's why I play video games is to just get that feeling of like childhood bliss during a game and you're like yes I don't know maybe that's like not even content saying that but I like I like being positive about things like this you know there's there's enough reasons to be angry with video game like developers and with things that come out and kind of a lot of fabricated controversies and stuff like that. And I I just like kind of living in my bubble where I'm I can say, "Hey, video games are great, man." Like, I don't close my ears off to it. I mean, obviously a constructive criticism for things is uh very valid, but uh at the same time just being really happy about video games it's just a wonderful feeling too being just exceptionally happy about any hobby just feels wonderful like it's something that just brings you genuine glee and it's not gonna let you down you know I feel the same way about music sometimes too it's easy to rag on a lot of bands or stuff like that but it's it's even more fun to just listen to an album just be genuinely amazed by it and love it you know Okay, we, we, we are definitely seeing some uh, reused um, layouts here. Ah, and that's the end of the run. What a tragic run. But we broke 300k, which I am personally pretty happy about, you know? That beats any of our Popeye runs for sure. But we're, we're in the second half of the video now, so we're going to check out Balloon Trip. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. This is it. Like, what you're seeing right now is Balloon Trip. It's effectively just navigating a maze of lightning bolts and uh, collecting, ah, oh, collecting balloons and getting greedy and dying. <laughs> okay, okay, I get you. And yeah, once you die, you just start over. But uh, see, it's it's basically an entirely different game on the same cartridge. Like, yes, it's got the same mechanics and physics and stuff, but the objective here is entirely different, obviously. This is not a melee. You're not uh, beating up anybody else. You're just navigating the maze <laughs> and dying. And it ain't it ain't easy. You know, it's not it's not as easy as it looks here. Now that top, I think that that's more of a score goal. I don't think that that's a score that you're ever really intended to beat. But rather, if you make it there, then you can say congratulations. You beat Balloon Trip. <laughs> uh, that's my assumption. I don't actually have any proof about that. I think it's an educated guess. Oh, man. Threading that needle. I'd be real ballsy about it. Again, you know, maybe the best solution is to just not get greedy about it. I remember this uh, most distinctly, and I've, I've brought this game so many times, uh, but from a WarioWare Inc. Uh, like micro game where you just had to do like a few flaps to avoid stars in this uh, specific game mode and that was it. Okay, the bubbles freeze the whole game. Ah, oh, no, the momentum killed us. But it but it's a nice change of pace, you know, when you've had enough of uh, the regular game mode, go on a balloon trip. Enjoy the bonus music the entire time you're here. It's blessed beyond compare. The fish is apparently still an issue, though. <laughs> yeah, let's go up this way. We're just gonna forsake those balloons there, because quite frankly, they're a trap. There is no world where those balloons brought us anything other than misery. Just like those two bunched over there, you know? It's tempting. You see two balloons in a little bundle like that, you say, hey, that's some easy points right there, until you realize that getting them is probably going to result in your immediate death. <laughs> However, if the world has stopped, then, you know, may as well, may as well go for everything. Oh, fish dude. 
Incidentally, there is a Game Boy game called Fish Dude. I did not mean to reference it there, it just, uh, it, it, it just came out. It's fine to leave some, uh, to, uh, let some balloons go, you know? For the sake of progressing and surviving. Yeah, we can see our score just keeps progressively going up. Uh, oh yeah, I was I was in a bind there. We were about ten thousand points off from uh, getting there though, so that's that's a feel good kind of moment. Can't guarantee we'll be able to uh, beat Balloon Trip in the time allotted here, but uh, I'm probably just gonna play some of this until it's over. You know, I mean it's it, it's a great little kickback and chill game mode. I mean, it's fairly difficult for being a chill game mode, but you know what I'm saying. You don't want to carry too much momentum, because or else stuff like that happens. Like how we have ranks too. Like welcome to a uh, balloon fight. Your balloon fight, the RPG. Managing the momentum is uh, definitely harder than it looks. Getting the bubble is not 100% necessary either, you know? Like, yeah, it makes it easier to collect some uh, stray balloons, but, you know, you'll get more points just by uh, naturally progressing. See, like right there, that bubble was a trap. We found ourselves in that position because we put far too much trust in the bubble. This song doesn't get old either. It's just so good. This is like DuckTales Moon Tier. It's not quite aquatic ambience from Donkey Kong Country Tier. Not quite, but uh, it's a it's a wonderful one. Maybe I, maybe I should keep comparing it to other NES games. You know, keep it keep it period relevant. Aquatic ambience, totally different generation. You know, games were on a different level then. <laughs> um, I think uh, comparing it to uh, the moon level from DuckTales is a fair comparison. You know, that's another one of the all-time great NES compositions. You want great NES compositions, man. Play, play Mega Man. Play like any of them. I know that that's not exactly a hot take. Everybody knows Mega Man has some of the greatest NES tracks of all time, but can't be overstated. God, I can't wait to play Mega Man on this channel and just show everybody how really bad I am at it. But let's be real, that's the case with a lot of these games, you know? It takes a, uh, it takes a strong soul to be genuinely good at NES games. Or, you know, somebody who just practices a lot. Anybody can get good at an NES game, you know? They're put on a pedestal of being like, Oh, you're, like, part of the elite if you can beat this NES game. It's like... Nah, uh, you just gotta practice. That's all there is to it. Ninja Gaiden may be a very difficult game, yes, but it's not a game that only immortals can beat. Anybody can beat Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Gaiden? I don't know. I feel like that could be a potentially controversial naming discussion there. Might have people in both clubs insisting neither pronunciation is uh, superior over the other. I guess I haven't put much thought into it, I just kind of say whichever one comes to my mind at the time. Okay. Okay. We're hitting that, uh, nearing that 14,000 mark again. And this is where things get a little psycho around here. are back in business. I should brief reprieve from them. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Okay, no, you are definitely intended to beat that score, and we got there. We're rank one, and now we're setting a top score. All right, this is more like it. The balloons are orange now. You know that that's when things are getting out of control. Orange balloons? Pretty crazy. 
Oh, that was that was a tough pull to thread. A tough needle to thread. <laughs> Keep your cool when discussing holes, man. There's a lot of people who will hop right on that opportunity. What opportunity? I don't know. Fill in the blanks, man. It'll be as intentionally vague as possible. Make you work for it. Look at this, though. Easy Street. Look at these points we're putting up. It's gonna be rank one forever. And I've never been happier. Well, yes, there have been days where I've been happier. Clearly. clearly. This is hardly best day of my life kind of material. I mean, it's a great game, but you know, it's not a life-changing game. It could be a day. It could be a day-changing game. You know, you could be having a rough day, and then you put in a put in your balloon fight cartridge, have some fun, and realize, wow, life is good. It's like somehow, against all odds, it never feels frustrating either. It feels difficult, but never in a way that makes you angry about it. Which, uh, you know, there, there is a certain art to that, making a game hard without making a game frustrating. It's a very valuable skill to have, and I uh, highly value any game that gets that right. Especially, you know, in this era, when the more difficult games were usually just very frustrating. Not in Balloon Fight. Look at this, we're still going strong. I'm not gonna, you know, be so bold as to claim that I'm unstoppable, because I'll probably die right here, but, uh... Hey, I didn't die right there. Oh, yeah, but right there, though. Broke 55k, though, which, hey, for Balloon Trip, I'm feeling alright about that. Let me take a swig before I dive in again. Well, that doesn't even count. <laughs> Pressing start skipped the game over screen. It didn't just pause the entire game. It's it's the beginning of a new era. Balloon Fight is officially the most iconic game of all time to me now. I'm giving all of my money to whoever created Balloon Fight. Which is probably, you know, some guy at uh, like Nintendo R&D 1. Okay. Hold on, let me check. Yes, it was literally some guy in at Nintendo R&D 1. Nintendo R&D 1, you know, they made a they made a big bulk of these early NES releases. No doubt about that. But I think it was like R&D 2 or R&D 3 that always pumped out the huge releases. Your Metroids, your Super Mario Brothers, your Legend of Zeldas. Ah. We had one really good run, and now we're, you know, I think we got cocky because of that good run. And now we're uh, just kind of eating it. That was... Ah. <laughs> that was really close. Immediately get destroyed. But no, I, I feel like uh, Balloon Fight, I think this actually goes a little bit underappreciated in the pantheon of early NES releases. Like, yes, people know of it. People generally talk about it favorably, but like, I think it's better than Excite Bike, honestly. And Excite Bike, you know, it has a pretty good pedigree. People really do like them some Excite Bike. But in terms of just being pure fun, I think Balloon Fight's got it beat. Uh, no, actually, no. I, I don't. I don't just think it's got it beat. Like, it's a firm victor. And I'm not trying to shit talk Excite Bike, but you. I mean, look, Game Type C and Balloon Fight way better than Game Type B and Excite Bike. <laughs> We got off screened. All right, don't hug the edge of the screen too much. That'll that'll be the end of you.
And again, I, uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm fairly confident that this game is on the NES online library for the Switch. Just to be clear, I'm, I, I am in fact saying you gotta go play it. <laughs> because it's just a genuine joy to play. Especially when you figure out, you know, you can just hold down B instead of having to mash A. Although I think you do get, uh, you do get some different momentum from mashing A than you do from holding B. So maybe, there could be something to that, you know, maybe they've both got their place. I'm not sure though, I'd have to do some, uh, some more rigorous testing. I don't know how I made out of, made it out of that alive, you know. It seemed like it was most certainly my end. But here I am. I'm still standing. Okay. Balloons are orange. We're good to go. And now, it's, uh, it's frozen when it didn't have to be. See, again, getting that bubble, it didn't inhibit us necessarily, you know, it just uh, added some unnecessary, some unnecessary seconds onto the game clock. Well, that's when you could argue. Are there any seconds of balloon fight that are unnecessary? I don't think so. I, I'm just, I'm just mesmerized by it, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm just here in a trance. I wish I'd be telling you something funny or something insightful, but... Fight is my new best friend. What can I say? I don't know why I do not own a cartridge of this. I I should, <laughs> but I don't. I'm gonna have to get on that. You know, put that on my to-do list, my to-buy list. You know, we got a word for that. It's called a wish list. <sighs> I hope. I hope you're enjoying this. I know I'm not being uh, quite as verbal as I sometimes am, but uh, you know, I'm just I'm just in a state of contentedness right now. Like again, it's like I said, it's it's the perfect marriage of uh, difficult and fun. It's not difficult in a way that makes you miserable. It's difficult in a way that makes you say, "I can do even better," and I'm gonna have fun trying to do better. And is there anything more beautiful than that? At this point? I don't think so, man. I was a little scared that I would have, uh, <laughs> scraped against one of those a little too close, you know? Again, afraid I was getting just a tad greedy. But no, we're good. Oh, and look at that. Look at that bundle of balloons there. Can we get a new high score before the end of this video? I mean, we still got like six minutes left, you know? That's enough to do anything. Oh yeah, that's a new high score. Look at that. Look at the numbers go up. Makes me wonder, you know, why game type A doesn't have such banger music like this. I mean, it does during the bonus, you know, it's the same song, but... Uh, Maybe it's because the rounds are so short, you know? They felt like they felt like there wasn't the need to take up cartridge space with music. Oh no, and there we go. That was that was a wall. Like you can you could tell that was an intense wall. I'm gonna do uh, one more run of a uh, game type A there, you know? We've seen what uh, balloon trip is all about. And again, both gamed modes are just so fun. Like these are both great. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was very poor. You can get all three of them, but I instead, opt, I instead opted to just get none of them. Alright. Get them both out of the picture before they can start any trouble, you know? Wonderful. 
See, even when like I grab a bubble, I'm just so happy. I'm like, I got that bubble. I'm good. Find you a game that makes you feel this cool. <laughs> It, it makes me kind of upset that, you know, the only other game, well, besides Gumshoe, which is like gun game, the only other game that came out this month and the next game on the list is, uh, not even close to being in the same league as this. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you at the end of the episode what it is. Or, you know, if you're a, uh, if you're a very impatient and, uh, a bit of a go-getter, you can always just look it up on Wikipedia. That's, just, that's what I'm going off of. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, we're fine. Don't panic. Don't panic until it's gone. And even then, there's no reason to panic because it's already gone. The rule here is don't panic at all. At all. Who's that? That's not my accent. You're from Minnesota. Get it right. Two balloons. All lives. Perfect bonus. I'm not sure what the fish was uh, going for that time around, but uh, I hope that he got what he was looking for. 1500 from there. 750 from there. You already know how it goes. You've been watching this for an hour already. If you're at this point, at least, you've been watching it for close to an hour. <laughs> and if you haven't been, well, then you, you didn't hear me say it in the first place. It's, you know, if a... If a dude says a thing in a video, but no one was there to watch it, did he ever say it at all? It's a good question. I am Schrodinger's YouTube video. I both exist and do not exist. I don't mean that in a pity me. This is so sad. Way I'm, 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 I'm just trying to be funny, you know. I acknowledge you can't just get right out of the gate and get, uh, th uh, get to hundreds of thousands of viewers on every video. Very, very, very few people ever do get hundreds of thousands of views on any video. Don't worry. I told you many times. I got, uh, I got no grand expectations other than to have fun and share in that fun with all of you. If you're if you've been watching for this long already, clearly you're already enjoying this. Because if you weren't, you wouldn't be watching still. And all I can do is be very happy that you have joined me. If I can just be that hour in your day when any stresses that you've got in your life are uh, finally not flaring up. <laughs> oh no! Just be that little slice of life where, uh, where things are easy going. I know I need that slice of life a lot of the time, you know. Speaking as a dude who is, uh, medicated for generalized anxiety, you know. Uh, I know how it gets. You just need life to pause for a moment. It's actually been a lot of what has prevented me from creating content in the past is, is just, you know, feeling that constant weight and that constant stress of uh, just being anxious about things all the time. And it's, it's like, you don't even have to, like, actively feel anxious about the thing that you're trying to do. It's just this, like, pervading, overwhelming feeling that just stops you from doing much of anything. But, uh... It's been getting better. We'll all get better. Whatever you're fighting through right now, it will improve. You gotta want it to improve, though. That was something I had to uh, acknowledge for myself. <laughs> if you sit around and don't do anything about it, then may maybe it won't improve. <laughs> but, you know, that's the case with literally anything on this planet. You know, you gotta, you gotta put a little bit of effort into it. Sometimes it takes... More, her more Herculean might than other things, but... We're all here for each other. At least we should be. Can squeeze in one more bonus stage here, and then that's, that's, that's gonna pretty much be time. Not a bad little run to end it off with, dare I say. This makes you wanna 
start up another run immediately. That's good. Oh, barely caught that one. I, I can only tell because of that audio feedback. And, you know, that's such an understated but vitally important part of video games is getting that... Getting that audio feedback just perfect. Making sure that a player knows exactly what's happening, not just because of their eyes, but because of their ears, too. Games that don't do audio feedback well always seem to perform a little bit worse. Anyway, that's all the time we got. That is Balloon Fight. Uh, what do I think about it? Well, I've been telling you the whole time. It's, it's an absolute delight to play. It's a wonderful release. Uh, something that I believe just about any kid would have been happy as a clam to have in august of 1986 again several more months after those arcade conversions came out but boy balloon fight as far as i'm concerned blows any of those arcade conversions out of the water it's 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 finally a game that that they said here here's a reason to own the nes here's the game you can't get anywhere else here's a game that is nes and boy does it feel like it again you know yeah it's older. It's older. It's still very arcadey. It's it's not a grand adventure like The Legend of Zelda. It's not a game changer like Super Mario Brothers 3, but it's just so rock solid and you can only get it on that NES. So, yeah, uh, it's definitely worth playing. It's definitely worth having. I would love to pick up a uh, actual copy sometime. Now, I did say that uh, the next game isn't nearly uh, as amazing and that is uh, going to be Urban Champion, one of the most forgotten about early NES games ever. Uh, it exists there. It was developed by Nintendo, but uh, it's just not memorable for a plethora of reasons, and we will explore those reasons tomorrow. Until then, always thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.